Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna go over a quick and easy way for how to do Hardy-Weinberg problems for biology or AP biology. Now, what is the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium anyway? Well, Hardy-Weinberg is actually an equation that we can use to determine the frequency of alleles in a population at a given time. Hardy-Weinberg is used as a model for describing and predicting allelic frequencies in non-evolving populations. Remember, it represents ideal populations that aren't changing. And since natural populations do change, Hardy-Weinberg provides us with a baseline to gauge that degree of change. Now, now there's two equations you're going to need to know in order to do Hardy-Weinberg problems. If you're in AP Biology though, these are provided to you on the formula sheet that you'll get for the AP Biology exam, so there's no need to memorize them. You do need to know what they mean and how to use them in a problem though. The first one is easy. It's just P plus Q equals 1. The second one is P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equals 1. Now what do each of these things represent? So P is going to equal the frequency of the dominant allele in a population. Sometimes we represent that with a capital letter, like big A. Next up, Q is going to represent the frequency of the recessive allele in a population. So for example, little a. P squared is the frequency of homozygous dominant genotypes in the population. So for example, big A, big A. 2PQ is going to be the frequency of the heterozygous genotype in the population. So big A, little a. And then you guessed it, Q squared is going to represent the frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype in a population. So if you're confused already, just make sure you come back to this key so you know which letters are gonna represent which genotypes and allelic frequencies. The best way to do Hardy-Weinberg is to actually practice it and see it in a practice problem. So let's go ahead and get started. This practice problem comes first. In a population of humans, 16% or a frequency of 0.16 are not able to roll their tongue. We're gonna to deal with frequencies to do these calculations. So you wanna convert percentages to frequencies or that decimal version of the percentage. In the population, 16% are not able to roll their tongue which means they are homozygous recessive for tongue rolling. Using the Hardy-Weinberg equations, determine the frequency of homozygous dominant tongue rollers in the population. So in order to figure out how to solve this problem, we need to know what it's asking. The frequency of homozygous dominant genotypes in the population, if we look back at our key, is P squared. So we're solving for P squared. We already know something in this problem though. So the one variable we already know is Q squared in this situation. That is going to be a frequency of 0.16. The next variable we know, we can figure out by just square rooting Q squared to get Q, and that'll give us 0.4. Now we can use that first equation, P plus Q equals 1, to determine P. See, now we're just doing basic algebra to get the variables that we need. So in order to determine P, we rearrange some of the variables to solve for P. And 0 0.6 squared is 0 0.36, and that is our value for P squared, or the frequency of homozygous dominant tongue rollers in the population. Let's look at one more easy practice for today. Let's say we have a population of rabbits. Some are brown and some are white. The brown allele is dominant, the white allele is recessive. So brown rabbits can have big B, big B, or big B, little b. White rabbits can only be little b, little b. Know that the frequency of the big B, big B genotype is 0 0.35. So let's try to figure out the frequency of heterozygous rabbits the frequency of the big B allele, and the frequency of the little b allele with this information. We know that the frequency of the big B, big B genotype is P squared. If P squared is 0 0.35, we can take the square root of that and get 0 0.59. From there, if we know P, we can easily solve for Q. After we solve for Q, and we're looking for the frequency of the heterozygous rabbits, all we need to do is get 2PQ. So 2 times P times Q. That's 2 times 0.59 times 0.41 would be about 0 0.48. The frequency of the big B allele, we already found, that's 0 0.59. The frequency of the little B allele, little B allele is 0 0.41. Now in AP Biology, these problems can get a little bit more complex, but hopefully now you've gotten some good practice with Hardy-Weinberg. Thanks so much for watching, and make sure you let me know if there's any other Hardy-Weinberg questions that you have. See you later.